Wild West is a new wacky game from Areola Shop, an action-packed adventure which brings to life the pioneering days of the old frontier. Your aim is to recapture Fort Snake from the evil clutches of Big Nose Bill and his gang of outlaws. But to get that far, you must encounter such perils as a bank robbery, a shootout with the local sheriff, a wild stagecoach ride, a rodeo, and a lassoing contest. To help you in your search, there are three sprites who are non-human characters that pop up on screen to offer hints and advice. But beware, they're not always to be trusted. Wild West sure does take some beating, but don't take our word for it, try it yourself. Wild West, an amazing joystick controlled graphic arcade adventure from Ariolasoft. Out now for the Commodore 64 on disc at $12.95 and cassette at $9.95. New from Firebird, the long-awaited Commodore version of Revs. Commodore owners can now experience the thrills and spills of driving a Formula 3 car around Silverstone or Brands Hatch. All created with painstaking attention to detail. Just look at the action. Rasputin from Firebird. Every software house is jumping on the 3D isometric graphic bandwagon, but none have been able to produce multi-action screens. Until now. The playability and beautifully recreated playing area will make you come back time and time again to Rasputin, one of Firebird's new hot range. Now Games 2, five fantastic games on one cassette featuring Airwolf from Elite. Tear Na Nog from Gargoyle. World Cup Soccer from Arctic. Cauldron from Palace and also Chucky Egg 2 from ANF. Now that's what I call software. Now Games 2, five fantastic games for the Commodore 64 and Spectrum 48K, only 8.95. Superman, the computer game that means action in the sky. On the streets and underground as Superman battles Darkseid for control of Metropolis, save the people or challenge your evil opponent in the combat zone. Evade the deadly kryptonite. Use Super Breath to blast meteors. Dodge Darkseid's Omega Ray. Now playing on Commodore, Spectrum, and Amstrad.
Relive the Battle of Britain at the controls of your Spitfire as you hunt down the Luftwaffe in the summer of 1940. Choose Practice, Practice Combat, or Combat Mode, and save your flight log as you go. Maybe you too can join the elite corps of the RAF. Swap screens between the detailed control panel, the cockpit view, and the ground map as you wheel through the skies. On cassette for the Commodore 64, Spectrum, Amstrad at 995, and on disc for the Commodore 64 at 1295 and 1495 for Amstrad. Do you want to be one of the few? Astro Charlie is back. Having survived the deadly caverns in Nodes of Yesod, he now faces his most dangerous challenge yet. Ark of Yesod from Thor features Charlie exploring a massive abandoned spacecraft. Armed with only a laser gun, he has to collect all the crystals. With even better graphics than Nodes, Ark of Yesod should be top of your list. Become Astro Charlie in the most exciting space game ever. Ark of Yesod is proof that sequels can be better than the superbly acclaimed original. Ark of Yesod has a recommended price of $8.95. If you use the voucher enclosed with Odin's Robin of the Wood, you get one pound off this price. A superb offer for a superb game. Ark of Yesod by Thor, available on the Spectrum, Commodore 64, and coming soon on the Amstrad. Who Dares Wins 2 for the Commodore 64 and 128, the game they said couldn't be written on a home micro. A real game of war with eight fields of battle and almost every possible feature from a war zone. Rescue a prisoner. Watch out for the bombers. Cross the dangerous rivers. Where are the alligators? But don't step in the quicksand. Who Dares Wins 2? A truly remarkable computer game from Alligator Software. Orpheus presents the young ones! At last, the young ones come to life on your computer screen! <laughs> Watch Rick, Vivian, Mark and Neil as they walk, talk, smash, burn and battle through the hovel they call a home. You choose who you want to be and the computer controls the other three. Rick, Vivian, Mark and Neil behave just as you might expect them to in real life. So each game will vary tremendously depending on who you want to be. The young ones, superbly animated, overwhelming graphics and sound. You'll play the young ones until your brains burn out. Welcome to the Bulletin 1000 video competition. And your chance to win a £75 software voucher as first prize, a £50 software voucher as second prize, and a £25 software voucher as third prize. The 10 runners-up will each receive a £10 voucher. Each voucher will be redeemable in this store. To enter this competition, simply name the following games. Game 1.
Game 2. Game 3. You can either send your entry into Bulletin 1000, PO Box 1000, London W87TX, or telephone your answers through on 01229-7594. Make sure to include with your entry the name of your Bulletin 1000 retail store, your name, your address, and your telephone number. Gyroscope! The game to send you spinning off your head! Attempt to guide a fast and furiously gyrating gyroscope across 20 separate screens! Make the most of your seven lives in this unique arcade strategy challenge! But we have to tell you, it's not easy! Steep slopes! Slippery glass, directional magnets, aliens and narrow ledges are among the many obstacles you'll find in this amazing 3D scenario. High resolution graphics and superb synthesizer music combine to create the atmosphere of this compulsively addictive game. Eight ninety five on the Commodore, BBC B and Amstrad, and only seven ninety five on Spectrum. From the company that brought you the smash hit, Nodes of Yesod, Odin now present their new game, Robin of the Wood, an addictive arcade adventure. You control Robin through woods, castles and dungeons. The objective of the game is to gain the magic arrows. But first you have to equip your hero with various weapons to get rid of the lethal Normans. But beware! The wildlife of the forest, the evil witch, and your old friend the sheriff all add danger to your quest. Superb graphics and amazing music combine to make Robin of the Wood a must for anyone who enjoys highly addictive arcade action and intriguing adventure. Robin of the Wood, from Odin Computer Graphics. Become the hero and overcome the odds, if you dare. Robin of the Wood, only 9.95. At last, the moment Amstrad owners have been waiting for, Virgin's follow-up to the superb sorcery. Your lonely mission is to visit this massive 250-roomed factory orbiting in the vast wastes of space. This is arcade adventuring at its peak. For Amstrad computers at 885, also are available for Commodore 64 and Spectrum. Elite has been called the game of a lifetime. Available now on the ZX Spectrum. It's shot to number one in all the charts. It's a game of skill, logic, commercial acumen, and of course, alien zapping excitement. played it, buy it now and treat yourself to the game of a lifetime.
two new products from Llamasoft. Color Space, a light synthesizer. Using a joystick and single keystrokes, spectacular dynamic patterns are created. Compulsive, creative, Color Space is available on cassette for the BBC B at 7.95. Yak's Progress, eight of Jeff Minter's hairy classics for the Commodore 64. Eight games which will appeal to all arcade enthusiasts. Laser Zone. Ancipital. Revenge of the Mutant Camels. Metagalactic Llamas Battle. Sheep in Space. Eight of Jeff Minter's hairy classics for the Commodore 64. Scalectric from Leisure Genius, the racing simulation game for one or two players. Race on scale Formula One championship tracks or on your own design. Create your own track using skid chicanes, standard curves, inner curves, straight and curved chicane, banked curves, and each curve has a different centrifugal force. The racing simulation game from Leisure Genius. Ace, the air combat emulator. Feel what it's like to fly a high-performance military jet fighter. Satellite intelligence will help you locate your enemy. Then it's twist and turn. Watch the radar. Target in sight. Ace, the fastest, most realistic flight simulator available. 9.95 for your Commodore 64. Watch your altitude. After two years and 10,000 hours of programming, it's finally here, the ultimate adventure. Using the unique Midas Adventure system, Swords and Sorcery incorporates stunning 3D graphic animation of over 200 monsters in each level of the game. Add to this real-time interactive conflict sequences, an immense vocabulary, all menu-driven, and you have the most sophisticated role-playing adventure seen on a micro. Swords and Sorcery is no ordinary adventure. The way your character develops is entirely up to you. Maybe you want to fight, or perhaps magic appeals, or even picking the pockets of your adversaries. All things are possible with Swords and Sorcery. The most exciting aspect of Swords and Sorcery is its total expandability. When you've finished with this level, move your character onto the next, or into a totally different environment, as all the games in the Midas series are fully compatible. Swords and Sorcery, more than a game, it's a way of life. At last, the moment Amstrad owners have been waiting for, Virgin's follow-up to the superb sorcery. The factory is maintained and controlled by a clever series of robots, mysteriously reprogrammed to destroy. You must solve the confounding puzzles and defeat the alien forces before they take over the Earth. For Amstrad computers at 885, also are available for Commodore 64 and Spectrum. Big League Soccer, the definitive football strategy game for your Amstrad. Wheel and deal and manage your team to the top. First, let's take a look at the league table. 
and we're third from the top in the fourth division. Let's see who we're playing next. And the draw's not a good one. Tranmere Rovers, and away. Let's pick our team. Are our ratings good enough, or do we need to make further changes? Just a draw should move us up. We're already one down. Oh no, it's another goal. Two down. And it's all over. And not only have we lost the match, but we've lost over £3,000 as well. Let's see how the other managers have done. Let's buy a new player. Who's available? Let's put an offer in for Barnes. And we've been successful. Now we'll win. Amstrad Action and their rave review say you'll be playing it until the early hours. Available here on cassette for the Amstrad at only $6.95. Ariola Soft proudly present their first Spectrum dedicated release, Panzer Drone, a program of senseless destruction for your Spectrum 48K. The Panzer Drone is an island inhabited by robot tanks of varying levels of intelligence and viciousness. With over 200 enemy tanks, supplies of mines, mortars, and polycrete, mega turrets, and a totally wreckable panzerchrome landscape, Panzerdrome will simply blow your mind. Your mission is to build a super tank and annihilate the island completely. Panzerdrome. Out now from Ariola Soft. This is Sue McHugh at Activision headquarters in Mountain View, California, with a TV 12 news exclusive. We have learned that an Activision research team has made contact with tiny beings who live inside computers. The researchers are currently studying the culture of approximately 12 different subjects. Each looks and behaves somewhat differently, but all exhibit the basic need to eat, drink, and sleep. They also like to read, listen to music, and talk on the telephone. We still don't understand their spoken speech, but we had to figure out a way to communicate with them. So we hooked up a little typewriter in the house, and with all their experience with word processors in computers, we found that they could type to us in English. The researchers also believe that computer creatures learned music from the countless computer music programs, as most are able to play the piano, though music styles vary widely. Activision has learned that the little computer people have an aptitude for playing games. Uh, because so many games are played on computers that, in fact, they may be able to play games, and we found that to be true as well. We, we now have several little guys that we're playing games with, poker, things like that. Additionally, we put in a, a, in a mechanical arm that comes okay, from behind the lower staircase, the and we can actually pat that them on the back of their head, and that really seems to quicken their emotion towards making them very happy. Activision has received thousands of calls from computer owners trying to confirm rumors about the discovery of the little computer people. In response to those demands, Activision has announced plans to make a commercial product available in September for Commodore computer owners, and in October for Apple computer owners, so they can all meet the little people living in their computers. This is Sue McHugh reporting. <laughs> 